Hi guys, packages sound like some difficult concept, but in simple words, packages mean just folders. Whether you are using Mac or Windows, we create folders, and package means just folders. So why we need packages? For understanding packages, imagine a book with no table of contents, no chapters in it and no headings. The book just starts and ends, that is just text. Would you like to read such a book? Definitely no. But what if we properly organize that book by using table of contents and uh, including chapters and headings? Then you can easily read that book. In programming, if you write the entire code in just one file, then it's going to look like this book, completely unstructured and unorganized. So to better organize and increase readability and reusability of our code, we use packages. This concept is like everyone has a music folder in their laptop or smartphone and inside music you create subfolders for example 2019 or your favorite artist. Now types of packages in Java. The already defined packages for example java.lang are known as built-in packages. All the basic classes like string or system are defined under java.lang package. So there is one package java, inside it there is another package called as lang. Inside lang there are lots of predefined classes like system and string. So to use them in our program, we need to import them. That is, we need to write the import keyword, the name of our package. For example, import java.lang.system. If we want to use lots of classes in lang, so we can use asterisk to import all the classes in lang. For example, if I want to use system class, then I'll write import java.lang.system. But if I also need other classes in lang, so I'll simply import all the classes in lang by using asterisk. For example, import java.lang.asterisk. Now what are user-defined packages? The packages we create are called as user-defined packages. So how to create a package? You just need to write the keyword package and then package name. In our ID, we have an option to create a package. Let's see this stuff practically. Now remember, we don't need to import java.lang manually, it's automatically imported by default. So even if you import lang package manually, our program still works fine. Now I am removing this line and our code works fine. Remember we always write the package declaration first and then import, otherwise you will get an error. Now let's create a package as addition, so class package and addition. Now let's create a class as add.
now let's create another package called calculation where we'll use this method add numbers calculation first we need to import our addition package Now I'm creating an object of add class. Okay, let's call add numbers method. I am not able to use add numbers because the method is not public. Don't worry, in my next video I will cover this concept that is when you should use public, protect, private or no modifier. So we need to add a public keyword. Now it works fine. Now how to create a sub package that is a package inside package. Now let's create a sub package multiply inside calculation. So click on calculation and new package. Name it as multiply and hit OK. Now a class multiply and OK. Now the syntax of creating a sub package is easy. First package keyword then main class dot subclass. So that's it for this video guys. Package is a very important concept. So, so I want to give you an assignment. Try to explain the below stuff. Can a main class access method inside its subclass without importing it? And can a subclass access methods of its main class without importing main class? So if anyone facing any doubt, you can mail me or you can comment. Guys, all my videos are free. We are not a team. I'm just a one man doing all this work. Please hit that like button. Visit Code Archery and subscribe. Don't forget to share. And thank you so much for watching my videos.